Okay, so here is the start of my thumbnail. And what I am trying to plan out in this thumbnail is simply where am I gonna put my letters? So my last name is Burgess. So the first five letters that I need, I need five letters, are B-U-R-G-E. So I've already kind of placed them in. I did not spend a lot of time doing the perspective because you're going to do that on the big paper. This is more about placement. I started to place my letters and kind of marking them in where I want them. They don't have to be in order. I don't have to be able to read your last name in perfect order. You're just using those letters as the your, your fun buildings. And now I gotta go in and add 12 buildings and place them around. But the things I want you to think about in your thumbnail, what you're planning in here is how are you gonna add a spot of whimsy? How are you gonna add something fun or, or humorous or unexpected in your um, alphabet city? And then also, how are you gonna make sure that it feels balanced from the left side and the right side? Making sure that you have you know, a couple buildings that are the same size on both sides is a great way to do that. Just how you organize that space because that's gonna help you quite a bit. Having this kind of plan sketched out, it's gonna help you quite a bit when you get to your big paper and you start to do this for real, you'll know where the spacing is already. You don't wanna finish a beautiful letter and then find out you should have moved it over two inches. It just helps you figure these things out. So right now I have this. I started by putting down my horizon line. Decide where the horizon line's going. It should not be any higher than this and it should not be any lower than here. But anywhere in this kind of area is okay. You can have it low. If you have it low, it's gonna look like you're flying in on an airplane. If you have it high, it's gonna look like you're more in the city, depending on how high or how big you draw your buildings. So you definitely, you know, I, I, going low is probably the harder option. Okay, so the next thing is filling in all the space around the letters. Students have a hard time doing that and I wanna show you how you can break that space up pretty quickly. So first of all, you have all the negative space here, all this negative space here, and then there's lots of space over in here, okay? So as I'm adding buildings, I wanna think about that space. So first thing I might wanna do is maybe I add kinda of like an idea of a second street and I'm gonna put a building way over here. You know, I can put some buildings here. I'm not worried too much about where, what those buildings look like yet. I'm more thinking about placement of some buildings. Maybe I wanna break that space up and put a building over in here. Um, so now I have two. We can definitely put several over here. That's three, four, and five all in this area, right? We can do six, seven right in here. So that's seven buildings already. How about another, we need a little tall building here, eight, maybe an eighth building there, maybe one here, actually I think that would look better all the way down here in that space. There's another one, maybe one over here, going off the page. Um, maybe we see the bottom, this is the bottom, maybe we see a bottom of this one. All right, and then we can even add more. Wait, now the other thing I need to do is think about what's gonna be my element of whimsy and whatever that may be, I think I may end up with, um, maybe I could do something fun, like instead of a sun, instead of a sun, maybe I have something else like, um, I don't know, it could be a cheese wheel, or maybe it could be, um, I'm gonna do a bicycle rim. So I can just have fun with something different over here, like some kind of spoke thing happening. Oh, maybe I'll turn into an orange. I'm feeling kind of an orange here. So maybe what I can do is sitting on this one, I can have a fruit alphabet place. So I can have an apple sitting on top of this one. Maybe I have, um, you know, bananas. Maybe I stick some bananas on some buildings, a little bunch of bananas in here or something. Different things, so I'm gonna end up with a fruit city. So maybe over here I have, um, in here maybe it's not a street, maybe it's a juice river. So maybe I put like a canoe Maybe I do something more like a canoe going, floating down, little person sitting there, rowing. 
down a juice river or something like that. So that's kind of a fun spot of whimsy, nothing too major. So again, for that thumbnail, what I'm looking at for the most part is that you find where you're going to put your 12 buildings, find where you're going to put your five letters, and what is your spot of whimsy. How can I make this, this um, you know, have some details and things like that? Now here's the thing, this thumbnail is not too perspective, it's not perfect. I'm pretty good at guessing, so I kind of guess where everything goes. But at the same time, I can do some fun things. Like maybe I want a bridge. Maybe I want a bridge here that this guy's got to go under. And, and you know, I, I'm going to be able to add details. Once this gets larger, you're going to be able to, and you start to get the hang of it, you're going to see more things that you can add um, to help yourself. Just to, uh, you know, create, uh, making this feel a little taller. I want him to feel like he can fit under the bridge. But, um, you can do things like that to embellish it and you'll end up with more space to do more things as you are working. So the thumbnail, really looking at your idea, what is your spot of whimsy? What letters are you using and your what buildings are you using and how are you gonna arrange them to feel balanced? I'm still not quite happy with this space over in here. I think I'm gonna add something like, a, you know, something simple like maybe a, um, I don't know, I could probably add like, a fruit pool, maybe some grapes or something sitting on the ledge over here to fill up that space just to have fun. And I can even play with the scale of that guy and do big grapes so that they are filling and overlapping that B. I like that better because now it feels like it's really in front of that shape. All right. So thumbnail, have fun. This is generating your idea. Don't get caught up in the details of the perspective. Really focus on your idea more than anything.